I've been playing Airsoft since 2002, and for the most part, I still very much enjoy running and gunning. However, this can be repetitively boring if I do it every single game. So for my own enjoyment, I try to get some variation in gameplay when it's available within the game structure. One of the most creative ways to do this is with roleplay. Operation Frostbite, hosted by Hill 559 allows for a good balance of RP and gun battles. The abbreviated storyline of the game is government forces, known as the FSC, who are in tan or multicam uniforms, are trying to keep the peace in an area called the Central Valley. The CVM, who are in green uniforms or civilian clothing, are trying to resist government control. My team and I will be RPing as rival ranches within the conflict zone. We've organized our roleplay into three acts. Act 1. Make contact with both factions as our roleplay identities. Act 2. Build tension between the rival ranches. And lastly, Act 3. A climactic finishing gun battle. Hill 559 is a fairly large AO with endless rolling hills. To hastily get around and to speed up the storyline of our RP, my team and I are using Coleman minibikes. Yeah, Ginger and Sporty. We're uh, local ranchers here from uh, Dude Ranch. Very good. Uh, we're just looking for our cattle. Have you guys seen cattle around? I seen any cattle around. Uh, what's all this about? This you guys were not here yesterday when we drove through. Yeah, we're here to help you guys support you guys get some fuel. Okay. Do we get oil rights up for our land at some point? I don't know. I, you know what? I, we should find out. Yeah, we should find we, out. We we probably have oil rights now. So we talked about our oil rights. Our commander over here. Okay. He looks kind of busy at the moment. So are you guys here from the government or are you guys just, uh, yeah, we're what FSC. are these uniforms? Our FSC, hired by the government. Oh. The fuel lines. The government's coming for our land, brother. Oh, yeah. Man. So this played out last time. Yep. Oh, hey, this guy's... The government brings stuff. Yeah, yeah. What do you what do you got for us, man? You know, we're just poor farm. We're just poor ranchers. Ooh. Oh, oh, a high chew. What's your name, man? My name is Adrian. Are you in charge here? No, I am. Oh, oh, you're you're in charge. Oh, oh. He's the candy guy. All right, nice, nice. What's your name? Ginger. I, we told you Ginger. it's Ginger. It's Ginger and Sporty. Why you guys are out here? We do have the cattle, and we're always looking out for cattle rustlers. Really concerned about that, especially with all these new people out here. Can we go through? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Through. All right. Cool. All right. Well, we might be back in a little bit, so search for our cattle. I just got shot. Yeah, I saw a BB bounce off me. Medically. <laughs> I think somebody just sent like a flinger towards me just to see if it would hit me. Well, that was that. Hello there. Hello. You here for fuel? We're, we're just cruising. We're looking for our cattle. I haven't seen them. Okay. No? Okay. Not at all? Nope. We have a couple other dudes who are riding around here that look just like us. Yeah, they came through. And they they did. They way. came through. Yeah, they went that way. They went that way. Up the hill. Did you get their names? It was Ginger and Sporty. Oh, those bastards! They're from the Dude Ranch. Yeah. They're from Dude Ranch. We're Cool Ranch. Oh. Okay. We're Cool Ranch. I'm Taki. That's Gino. Kill those bastards if you see them. They steal our cows. They, they, they ride their motorbikes all over the land. It's an entire thing. Well, tell the Spice Girls you're looking for them. <clears throat> I've never heard of Spice Girls before. Tell your leader what we said. Yeah. Let's ride, Chino! <laughs> God damn, dude. Good. This thing's slippery. found two guys looking for you guys. Two guys? Yeah. What? Hold Cheeto looking. and Takis. Uh, We're on the lookout for you guys from Cool Ranch. From oh, the, oh, 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 from the oh, cool oh ranch. is this the Cool Ranch guys? Hold on, hold cows. on, hold on. Keep. Is it this guy? Yes. Yeah. And this guy? Yep. yep. Oh, it's those mother. We gotta do something about those dudes, man. What those guys say? They head back that way looking for you guys, saying you guys were stealing their cows. 
No, those are our cows. They keep saying that they're their cows. This is our land. Did they say anything else? They, did, did, did they, they told did, us to kill you guys if we saw you. We oh, said no. We're here to keep the peace. Oh, All we're doing is providing fuel oh, for the people that need it. As a sign of sure good faith, this is where we have some of the fuel for you guys right there if you want to take that with you. Okay, that's right there, is it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I was just going to say we should like stack flash their tires, but they're trying to kill us. And you guys are just here to keep the peace? Yeah, I mean, you can't, I mean, those guys are trying to murder us. I mean, you, can't, you gotta, you gotta do something here, the government. We'd love to sell you some cows. What kind well, do you guys have? Longhorns and uh, islands. <laughs> hey, you guys are gonna freak if, we, if we're driving around here with guns looking for those guys, right? Because I mean, they're trying to kill us and it no, sounds no, like we need to be uh, strapped. Our, yeah. ROI is clear that we don't fire unless fired. What is ROI? Isn't that ROE? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take a ride around over here, look for our cattle some more. Let's go check out the oil! Hey, how's it going? How is this you? the uh, oil supply? Yeah. So what's up, man? Is this is this your post for the day? Yeah. You guys uh, seen any cattle around here? Uh, no. No? Not really. I've seen some suspicious individuals up there. That's oh, that guy right there? Yeah. I think that's just Jeff from down the way. Do you mind if we go over there and see if it's Jeff, our buddy? Uh, we're just going to go over there and talk to him, that's all. I, I don't know. Where are you guys going? Where are we going? Oh, we're, we're, we're ranchers. Our, this is our land. Yeah, yeah, we're ranchers. I mean, like, Huh? We're, we're, we're looking for our cattle. Oh. That's why we're asking you. No oh. cattle. I haven't seen any cattle. All right. Well, we're going to go see if that's our buddy Jeff. Maybe, right. maybe Jeff's seen our cattle. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The meteorological team is studying the weather patterns here for future crop planting. Okay. And we've decided that this slide here is an optimal place to grow our products. All right. Uh, so we're just conducting some uh, meteorological surveys. You're a meteorological. Yeah. Okay, those guys down there with the guns were asking. Yeah. We're just trying to find our cattle. Yeah. There's another rival ranch out here called uh, Cool Ranch. Don't they, trust those guys. Are they related to Ram Ranch? Or? Those are the guys from Cool Ranch. Don't trust them. Okay. They've been stealing our cattle. Yeah, they've been stealing our cattle. Okay. Well, what can we do to help you? Can we do work something out here? For us? You got, like, yeah, yeah, you got you got candy or something? Yeah, I got money for you. Hey, let's go to the Indian casino tonight. Yeah. I mean, that's all about. We can only buy you one piece of candy because of BB War inflation. All right, we'll see you guys later. Good luck with your meteorological survey. Fun, Jeff? No, that uh, wasn't Jeff. That was some meteor oh. meteorological <laughs> team. Oh, God. Yeah, there's like uh, five or six of them up there. They said they're studying the weather. Uh, they gave us some cash, which was cool. You guys got anything cool to give us, maybe? Uh, maybe some candy? You guys got some cash? Chocolate? Got socks. I'll yeah. pass on the crusty socks. You got some food? You some food? Sure, what do you got? <laughs> oh, you don't you don't gotta give us your food yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you're good man you're good all right we're gonna go we're gonna look what for our cattle they were they carrying any guns or sticks oh yeah they had a bunch of guns yeah, oh yeah guns. they all had They're guns strapped. yeah yeah i don't know what you they need guns for to study the clouds all, all right well if you guys don't got any candy or anything we'll be on our way we'll on thanks way. we need the cows Do you have any money we have nothing to trade no i don't know where the cows are we are the civilian populace we are on your side and you treat us like this. You guys need to give me your intel, right? Is that so? I mean, technically I have the gun, right? Technically you are the man in the power. Okay, I don't like to be strong arming my friends here. That's what I feel like that's what you're doing. But these euphemisms for cows, intel, I understand, I see what you kind of are saying. So we will go back and we will see what we can gather. The end play is, it's all three bikes. I take a bike and I go to their commander, find him and be like, hey, they killed Sporty. Like, you guys got to do something. And then you guys roll up and you're like, we're here to settle the dispute or something. We basically just have a gun battle with those dudes. Okay. You guys have jet and then be like, we knew your sympathizers with them and start shooting at them. Yeah, right? yeah. That works out because we're against them anyways. Hey, uh, I'm looking for your commander. Oh, hey, I was talking to you earlier. Hey, uh, where's your commander guy? The Cool Ranch dudes killed Sporty, man. Oh, like, man. like what? Like, come, I need your guys' help. Where's your commander? Uh, They're gonna come and kill me. Oh, he's man, at the airport still. So. He's at the airport. All right. Hey, if you see those Cool Ranch guys, man, they're trying to murder me. All so, right. like, please, please do something about it. Like, you guys are the government, right? Yes, sir. Uh, we've been told not to shoot the people on the bike. So we gotta do something. Like, I, I'm strapped now. I can't be walking around unarmed. I'll see you guys later. So, we'll take care of you if we get close. I can't find the commander. They're just getting their asses kicked. Who, at Cam? Yeah, oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Act like we're, we're chasing each other through the battlefield. Dude, that was so funny. <laughs> just through the firefight. <laughs> 
I tried to do this, bro, but I was like, ah! Go back now and just keep going, dude. Hey, it's the Cool Ranch guys! They're trying to kill me! They're trying to kill me! Get him! Stop him! Tan is getting bottled up. Well, the final act doesn't seem like it's gonna be able to get played out, but Somebody that was, was fun. was shooting at you, dude. Oh, really? Yeah. Screaming, get him, get him! And the guy just turns. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's load up for patrol then. We could have waited until FSC had regrouped and reconsolidated its forces to complete the last act, but our entire squad was now reunited and ready to play airsoft. Our first engagement with FSC is a fire team that we eliminate fairly easily. Online right here and push forward. Frag, frag. Yeah, we got two down. Go. Let's head over to that flag that was on that uh, hill and hold defense for a little bit. Spread throughout the field are capture points marked by flags. These flags can be used as respawn points if your team controls them. Dying valiantly on the objective is normal for airsoft, but sometimes unnecessary. To some, falling back may seem cowardly. However, tactically, it may open up an opportunity later in the battle. Moving. See this turkey hill where we just killed those dudes? Yep. Get on this back slope where the tree is, force them to force them down that way or up this. Got it. We are at the bottom of Turkey Hill, three shooters, one rifleman on top of Turkey Hill. We got good hard cover and we can hold them. Roger, everyone hold this line, hold this line. I call a team plus, I repeat, team plus. Second mm -mm. one moving uh, to our north. Roger, we're about to be enveloped over. Stay here, uh, make Copy, sure they don't- you want us to hold our position? Copy, I got you. Yeah, hold on, we might have to exfil. Roger, we're standing by. Jet, we can oh, this western element. Close, 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 close. Oh, it's the whole Frank team. Yeah, it's like, he was about to take contact on our own on the right side. Oh, Frank. This place, this place, this place. Ah, uh, Turkey Hill, Crest Your Hill, Crest Your Hill, and engage the guy at the tree. He's down, he's down. Hey, deploy your smoke, Bobby, deploy your smoke. They're right here, they're right here, watch out. Hey, all some squad, fall back, fall back, fall back. Those nades you were throwing were hitting the trees perfectly and dropping on them. <laughs> it was hilarious. Nice. Every time I peeked, I just see dead people. I'm like, I guess I nade spam them all. Fall back behind these rocks, let's, let's take a water break. We're all still alive? Yeah. I mean, we had solid positioning, we were just yeah. outnumbered. Yeah, that was not tenable. There's not enough of us to cover all the angles that they're incoming from. Yeah. I think we got a few of them, right? Yeah, oh, they just kept getting medic. Smoke. Holy oh my god, R let's get out of here. Oh, let's run that way. To the other side, hurry! Run away. run away! The entire FSC team has respawned at the flag we fell back from and are now heading directly towards us. While FSC is chasing down other CVM units, we attack, catching their spearhead in an open creek bed. Oh, wait, 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 hey, get down, get down, get down. Wait till they're all on the rocks. Hey, you three, let's go. Come on, middle, middle, go, 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 go. Go down to the rocks, they're on the other side of the rocks. Stay here. Right in the foot. Go, 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 go. We're gonna get to the rocks, look over and stab, stab.
There's one more. We're wrapping back into where we came from. Grenade, grenade. Hey brothers, right here in front of us. Left side, left side across the creek bed. One guy on the open. I watched the whole thing. That was like a text. You're dead, right? Blank, like okay. Perfect. Right as they were trying to cross, dude. Oh, yeah. Everybody else that's green, we got to push forward across this road. In that first element of FSC was the unit commander. Until the commander respawns, the remainder of the FSC forces cannot fight coherently, and we pick them off. Hey, are you guys ready to assault? I'm gonna throw a smoke if we are. There's a lot of dead space and entrenched enemies on the far end of it. Roger, I'm pretty sure I'm in their blind spot right now. Do your thing, Jet. Blue smoke is me, blue smoke is me. Bang, 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 bang. Move up! Yes! You know the enemy team is routed when you're shooting them as they run away. Where? I'm just gonna call it because I don't fucking know. As I'm firing at these retreating enemies, another player fires a tag and chalk round at me. I'm so concentrated on hitting my targets that I don't see it. There's so many people yelling at me about it that I frustratedly just call myself out without bothering to even try and verify. That was a semi-peaceful resolution to what could be a subjective hit call out. This next encounter might be the absolute worst reaction a player can have when handling a hit call out. I'm hit. Are you trying to call a hit that you didn't hit? I'm not taking shit. I don't know what he said, but I'm not taking shit. Oh my god. BG Wars is very serious. He started yelling at me. Who, dude, everyone is yelling at everyone, and yelling at other people isn't helping. Like, oh, I just, see, I just got shot in my head. Like, I'm not gonna f***ing rage. No, I'm, not, I'm not annoyed by the shot in the head. Sounds like he's calling a hit. That's not even a hit. I'm not so what? That so what? I'm not gonna call something that doesn't hit. Yeah, obviously, but you don't need to argue with them about it. That's the point. That's the pointless I part. How I feel I mean, when I'm, how I feel about it. Uh, do you think he really cares about your feelings? No, I'm just saying. Like, well, then see, then what's like, the point? 
If he wants to yell and scream, sure, whatever. It's not going to affect no, you. Shut up, dude. Shut the <laughs> okay, bye. Yeah, bye. Wow, I'm a pussy because I'm not going to argue with someone. Medic! You got a guy over there cussing out. He's got you. Can you get up there? I heard about the dude yelling at you, but what's even funnier is a dude was like yelling for Robbie to come over there and he's like, hey, hey, there's a dude over here, you're yelling at some kid. And I found out the kid was you. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a kid, no matter what. Just like, ooh, how do I make this even more controversial? It was a child. It's an orphan, I think. <laughs> As you can tell from the footage, the weather for this game was rainy and cold. That didn't stop a lot of players, though, from participating in the night game. The cold ground made for a perfect backdrop against the bundled up body heat of enemy players through our thermal optics. Are you tracking down the river? There's two dudes walking towards us. He's, they're walking towards Jet. Two guys walking towards Jet from the enemy side. I don't have a radio. Dude, tell Jet there's a guy who's 12 o'clock, like 30 meters. Like if he just goes full auto, he'll roast them. One stopped in the river, one went back up the hill. Shortly after this engagement, it started dumping rain, so we called it a night. The next morning, as we head out to join the final battle, we're caught in the most awkward airsoft ambush as we leave our spawn. Someone. This player can't actually fire his gun because we're all within the minimum engagement distance. There is also seven of us, so the likelihood of him shooting us all at once, albeit not impossible, is highly unlikely. I like that. Good, good air support. Guy. <laughs> that was good. Next time, wait till we all pass you. You're going to shoot the person in the rear and then make your way to the front. His idea. Yeah, and then just yeah, that's what you should have done. And then we would have been like, bam, you got us. But now, but now you've put us all in this awkward, like, uh... So do that next time. But good on you guys. Good on you guys. Let's all just parlay. Let's all just parlay. Everyone just... We just saw you guys going, we were like, oh crap, we're gonna die. We're all demoralized and <laughs> I'm fine with that, but it, that was just too awkward. To avoid any more ambushes, we send up a drone to reconnoiter our route to the main battle. Miguel, hey, pay attention, okay? We're, we're with you. After a little force and leadership organization, we're ready to commence the final push. Did you come to play airsoft or stand around? Let's do this. Frag him. Friendly Nate on your six. <sighs> you guys both up? Pick up that right side! Push, 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 push. Go! Swing around this hill, let's go! Keep swinging around! I'll stay with you, bud. Hey, medic, we got one more over here. Just get online and watch Jet, see what he's doing. Everyone move up, move up! Hey, do not fall back! Do not fall back! The battle concludes with the enemy commander going down in a hail of plastic like a true BB hero. Let me know how you keep airsoft fun and exciting for yourself and or your team in the comments below. That's going to wrap up this video, and as always, this is Jet Desert Fox.
and I'll see you on the field. The AGM Adder Thermal Optic is the most unfair advantage you can have when it comes to airsofting. I have my AGM Thermal set to red hot. The body heat from players will show red in my scope,